um, the one previous presenter in these uh, uh, works. I'm not sure if it works with MacBook, I haven't tried it yet. I'm not sure if it's there. No, I don't think it's there. Oh, uh, uh, no, it's not. Okay, can you please take uh, off the sign then? Uh, I'll introduce you and then we can get started. Yeah. Okay. So welcome all. Thank you for seeing uh, the last, last lightning talk of the day. Uh, we have uh, Andrea Fekemandi uh, okay. <laughs> talking to us. Uh, please give him a big round of applause. <laughs> and the floor is yours. Okay. Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Fekemandi and let's talk about how to write a novel using an open source software, Introduction to Bibisco. The story of Bibisco started in 1997 when Bjork published her third album, Homogenic. The track number four was the beautiful Bachelorette. At that time I was 22 years old and uh, I used to watch the video of the song on the newborn MTV Italy. The video uh, features Bjork as a Bachelorette, a young woman who finds a book buried in her garden who, that uh, begins to write itself. She takes the book uh, to a publishing house and the book uh, becomes so popular that everyone in the city starts reading it. Ever since I was a child, I've loved reading, but uh, the video impressed me so much that an urgency to write came over me. In that period, I spent so many nights in front of my text editor, this one, uh, writing one word after another, following the idea of the story I had in my mind. But every time I read what I'd written, I felt a deep disappointment. I didn't understand why, but it didn't work. So, after several attempts, I gave up. And I dedicated myself to finishing my study of computer engineering, to reading, and to being a 20-year-old guy. But many years later, I happened to watch the video again on YouTube, and that urgency to write came back over me. But I decided to study a different approach. So I started to study dramaturgy, and everything became clearer, and I learned some important lessons. Lesson number one, the idea of the novelist to write guided only by the sacred fire of inspiration is quite naive. <laughs> Lesson number two, the most important, the conflict of each character is the driving force of every novel. But what is exactly a conflict? A conflict is a, a desire to be realized, is a reaction to an external situation. It is an inner need. Conflict leads a character to action and to change the condition of things. So a novel is the story of a change in the condition of things and of the evolution of characters during this process. There is no novel without conflict. That's it. So it's all about characters and novels only work if their characters are believable. Characters that are completely good or completely evil are stereotypes and for this are not believable. Characters are believable when you can understand the complexity of their human nature, their qualities, their defects, their contradictions. So how can create a believable character? The only way is to know everything about them, uh, behavior, physical aspects, sociology, psychology, all their life before the novel begins. With these lessons learned, I decided to get to know my characters through a long series of questions, such as an interview. So I prepared a character sheet on a simple text document, like this. When I start to fill in the form, the characters gradually took shape, became real. It was wonderful because they were telling me their stories and I just had to listen and write down what they said. When I completed filling the forms, 
I was ready to write the first scene of my novel, but soon I found myself lost in a mountain of, of uh, text document files. I tried to organize everything in folders on my notebook, but, but wasn't enough. What I really needed was a novel development environment, a unique program in which uh, define the architectural elements of the novel, to know my characters, to write my scenes uh, with a fully featured text editor. I looked for a software like this, but I couldn't find it. So I decided to make it myself because I thought I'm a developer. I have the superpower of create things. I soon realized that the project was complex and ambitious, but uh, at the same time was extremely exciting because it was my project. And I felt a deep sense of well-being and fulfillment in seeing my literary soul and my computer soul, which have, I have always considered as opposed merging in the construction of something new. I used to work at the project in the free time I had after my family and my professional activities. And my mantra becomes, what have you done today for Bibisco? After two years of work, I released Bibisco 1.0 in the April 2014, I licensed the BBS from the GPL 2.0. The project was well received and uh, the help of the early adopter were crucial. They helped me to find bugs, uh, they suggested me new features, they translated BBS in their own languages, they supported the project with posts and articles, they supported me with beautiful messages I had never received as a computer consultant. And this is the magic of the open source uh, community where people from all over the world, without knowing each other, uh, work together to build something beautiful for the benefit of all. Okay, let's have a look, uh, a brief look at the application. Bibisco is, is divided into sections, uh, each one accessible uh, from the main menu bar. In uh, the project section, uh, there are some useful tips of dramaturgy that can help writers, especially the beginners, to find the workflow. In the architecture section, uh, you can define the architectural elements of the novel. There is the, f um, the premise that probably contains the entire narration of uh, the entire novel in one sentence, conflict and resolution. We have the fabula. The fabula is narration of the ends in, the, in their logical and chronological sequence. Then we have the settings, the description of place, uh, time, and social context where the story is developed. Then we have the narrative strands, each one connected to the development of one specific conflict. Every card has its status flag to indicate the status of the work. By default, is red for uh, to do. And, uh, but you can easily change it uh, to yellow for uh, not yet complete or green for complete. You can uh, define your architectural elements using the Bibisco text editor. Uh, it's a fully featured text editor with all the usual command for bold, italic, underline, and for the other formatting needs. There are also uh, a specific commands and shortcuts for the dialogue symbols. Uh, on uh, the bottom right, you have a running word and uh, character count, while in the bottom left, uh, we ha you can change the status flag. This is the character section. In the character section, is divided into main character and the secondary character. A main character has a conflict, a driving force of the plot, while a secondary character don't have a conflict, but it's use is useful for the story development. Let's go inside our main character's detail. Here we can find all the cards that you need to know everything about your character. Um, every card has its status flag, and we also have a card for the attachment of the images of uh, your character. Uh, each card has a series of questions that uh, let you know your character through an interview. If you don't like an interview mode, you can um, describe a particular aspect of your character using a free text mode. In the location section, you can describe the location of your novel, and uh, you can uh, attach images at every location. And this is the chapter section. The chapter section contains the chapter, of course, of the novel. And uh, every chapter has its card with its uh, status flag and uh, its count badge. And you can use drag and drop to reorganize chapter inside your novel. 
Let's go inside a chapter detail view. Here we can find a card to indicate the main purpose of the chapter and a card for the notes. Then you can create the chapter by creating the individual scenes. Every scene has its card with the status flag and word count badge. You can uh, use drag and drop to reorganize the scene inside your chapter. Uh, Bibisco saves all the revision of your scene and you can always view or restore a previous version. When you write your scene, you can always view the architectural elements of the novel, characters, location, and chapters you have already written uh, in a box next to the text editor. It, it was extremely useful because it's the one program, the novel development environment. You can also tag the scene uh, with the name of characters, point of view, location, time, and narrative strands. If you tag properly the scene, you can use uh, this section. It was uh, very interesting because the analysis section show you where and how often characters, location, point of view, narrative strands show up in your story and in uh, exactly what chapter, all in a visual way. For example, here you can see the, chapter, uh, the character distribution through, uh, in the chapters of, the, of your novel. And here, here you can see the chapter length graph. Finally, in the export section, it's uh, possible to export the novel in PDF, RTF, or as archive. Some numbers. At the moment, we has more than 40,000 downloads and is translated in eight languages. Bibisco is, one, is the one of the seven cool little pro open source projects that stood out in 2016 in the yearbook of opensource.com. Let's get uh, one more technical. Uh, the actual version of Bibisco is the 1.5. Uh, Bibisco 1.x is a Java desktop application. It is available on Linux, Mac, Windows. It's, it's uh, written with Eclipse RCP framework, but, but the user interface is written in HTML5 and JavaScript. For this reason, the next release of Ubisco, the 2.0, uh, will be a, full, uh, a fully HTML5 and JavaScript application. And I'll use Electron framework by GitHub to write the next uh, release. Uh, here, there are some uh, references uh, to get in touch uh, with the project. Uh, this, uh, we, ha we have a website, we have a blog, we have a mail of the project, personal mail. Uh, we have a Facebook page, we have a Twitter page, and uh, of course, we have uh, our GitHub uh, repository. About me, and I'm Andrea Fecomandi, I'm 41 years old, I'm from Bologna, the north of Italy and I'm a family man, and I love my beautiful wife and my two kids. I'm a passionate software engineer, and I'm a CTO on a software house in Bologna. I love books, music, movies, TV series, buckets, and Lego. <laughs> <laughs> I have not yet written my novel, but, but, if it's true that a person is happy when he's able to fully develop its potential, I can say with certainty that Bibisco made me an happier person. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Andrea. I think we have some time for questions. So, uh, any takers? I see a hand over there. Uh, can you wait one second and I'll bring the microphone over to you? Yeah, thanks. Okay, so how can you use all your cards? like you described them in your PDF or something, um, as a graph, you know, and, and use like, uh, I don't know, something like BDD programming, you know, and auto generate like words or using some adjectives or some, I don't know, some stuff about the characters and auto generate like chapters or relationships okay. because, uh, between the characters and, and so on. Are you asking me about the relation of the characters? Yeah, if I, I know it's possible, but have you ever thought of it and with your contributors like? Uh, but at the moment you can write it in the sheet or in the cards of the characters, but in, uh, I'm uh, th thinking about uh, to insert a mind map to f uh, map the character relations in the next release uh, of uh, Bibisco. Okay, 
Uh, hi. Uh, do you know of any success stories in using your software? <laughs> Like okay. with, with actual books published. Okay, we we have, we have just uh, in uh, at the start of the, this year we have uh, uh, started a blog to collect uh, some success story, and uh, we ha we are waiting for the success story of our users to publish and uh, spread uh, in the world. <laughs> so, uh, any other questions? Ah, see your hand raised over there. Uh, hi, I, I tried to run uh, Bibisco on a Linux distribution with uh, OpenGDK and it didn't work because it seems that the Bibisco Linux version ships with uh, the Oracle Java client, uh, Java uh, implementation. Is it like considered a bug because uh, you you mention open source a lot? So I just okay, uh, I have to what I have uh, to um, if you open an issue on a GitHub, I can. Uh, uh, work on it, maybe. But it's uh, in the next version of Visco, uh, will uh, I, it's uh, all full uh, JavaScript in HTML5, and so there is no JR problems. Okay. So uh, I think we have time for one last question. If there are any takers. Get found? Yeah. At the moment, no. Yeah. At the moment, no. I we are thinking about it, but uh, we are uh, we. So, uh, what format do you use for saving the data in Bibisco? Uh, okay. At the moment, you uh, are using a local database, H H2 database is a local database in Java. But uh, in uh, the next uh, release, the 2.0, uh, I think about using a, a simple JSON file to store everything. Will there be a hosted version? Will there be a hosted version? A uh, hosted version in... In, in uh, 2.0. Uh, I, I don't understand the question. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, will you host a version that everybody can access if it's online instead of downloading? Ah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I think about it, but uh, I have to. It's difficult for me at the moment to have a, an hosting uh, that to do that. Okay, uh, and so I prefer the people download on, uh, on their machine. And the confidentiality, because maybe some people they don't want to. Yes, yes, it's also this aspect. So I'm sorry. That's all the time we have, Andrea. Thank you very much. Thank you.